Hello folks, it's Chef Kevin. I'm here at the Covert Center of the United States, New York City. My regular food store uh, is kind of out of a lot of things that I was looking for today, so I have a few things uh, here in my in my apartment and I'm gonna go ahead and make um, a very simple pizza. But it's not going to be a regular pizza. It's going to be kind of an unusual pizza. And I think I'm the first chef that's going to make this particular pizza. This is a corned beef hash Neapolitan style pizza. You got to love it. And this is the first time that I'm going to be using my perforated Breville pizza tray. Okay, I bought the bought this dough a couple of days ago from my local supermarket. At least they weren't out of dough. I guess no nobody is panic buying dough. They panic buying toilet paper and paper towels, but not pizza dough. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice little pizza here. I mean, this this is the mark of a good chef. The ability to create a good meal with minimal or unusual items. I mean, anyone can make a, a great steak with a $20 per pound ribeye steak that's dry aged or whatever, but this is going to be an unusual pie or pizza depending on what word you like to use. I always like to use the word pie. Here in New York we call them pies. I like my pie thin crust, thin crust because I like to fill up on the toppings not so much the dough. Okay, I'm going to keep stretching this out, rolling it out, until it's about the size of my 13 inch tray. Okay folks, this is rolled out good enough. Going to go ahead and brush some olive oil around the whole pie. You know, the whole dough is not a pie yet. And this will make the edges in particular nice and crispy. Okay, next thing is the tomato sauce. Sorry, the pizza sauce. This is Sento pizza sauce. I had this saved up for a couple of months. You never know when you're going to need pizza sauce. It does smell good. Okay, next thing is the Merry Kitchen corned beef hash. I mean, I don't think this is too crazy. Um, I like sausage on my pies, I like pepperoni, I like ham. So this isn't like too much of a stretch, is it? This is basically corned beef mixed with potato.
Not going to put too much corned beef on that. Save the rest for tomorrow. I'm going to have corned beef hash and eggs tomorrow. This is looking good. This may start a trend. Whoa. Okay, I got my Breville Smart Oven heating up. I'm going to cook this in the pizza mode. I have some fresh basil here. You have to have fresh basil if you want to make a Neapolitan pizza. This just smells so good. At least there was no run on basil. You, know, you don't want to over basil it though, because basil is pretty, pretty intense. I have some mozzarella, pre-sliced. Tell me this doesn't look good. Neapolitan pizzas are supposed to be simple and rustic. I don't think it's supposed to have corned beef hash on them, but it is what it is, folks. So I got my Breville Smart Oven heating up in pizza mode. Don't go nowhere. Okay, folks. 420 degrees, pizza mode. 10 minutes. Not quite sure how this is going to turn out. I made a couple of pizzas before this on, in my Breville. This is actually my second Breville Smart Oven. The first one, the, uh, the window blew out on me. So they sent me a replacement. So I'm hoping this one doesn't blow out, of course. I'm a little gun shy at this point, to be honest. So we'll see how this turns out. I mean, how bad could it be? Maybe I can be on Rachel Ray showing her how to make a corned beef hash pizza. Okay, folks, don't go nowhere. Okay, folks, I added an extra three minutes, so this is coming up on... 13 minutes total cooking time at four, 420 degrees. Uh, I'm looking through the window. This is looking so good. Got 42 seconds left. I'm going to take it out. I'm, sorry, I'm not going to take it out. Actually, I'm going to keep it in and keep it warm. I have to take my dogs out for a walk. And then I will devour this and critique it as well. Okay, folks, I'm back. I took the dogs for a walk. Here in New York City, you're allowed to do essential activities like going to the grocery store, taking your dog out, going to the liquor store. Hmm. Okay. This looks really good. The bottom is cooked very nicely. Mm. This actually turned out to be a really nice pie. It was 
quite unusual. Mmm. Really good. Welcome to Chef Kevin's Pizzeria. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching.